Hello everyone, welcome to another Hardcore Bob plugin tutorial. Today we'll be talking about one of my favorite Sound Toys plugins of all time called Little Alter Boy. Of course, that's a name that didn't age too well, but hey, we'll give them a break on that, won't we? Now, if you watch some of my videos, you might notice that I'm not in my usual studio. That's because I'm in Nashville, Tennessee, home of the acoustic guitar. And so I'd like to dedicate this video to my good friend, Harry who's lending me his beautiful studio today. It just keeps on going, doesn't it? So anyways, we'll jump right into it. The song we'll be demoing today is a song called How Many Ways by the indie artist Independent Carl off of his debut album, Has Anyone Seen Carl? He's Been Missing for Several Weeks. Here's a little bit of that for you. Just a lovely number, isn't it? Maybe he's in France. <laughs> We've got four basic knobs here. Pitch, Format, Drive, and Mix. Now, if you've seen my tutorials before, you're probably bored to tears hearing me talk about the Mix knob. Every single plugin has the same one. That's just how much of the affected signal do you want. Now, the Drive knob, well, I think you know what that does. But Little Alter Boy's claim to fame is really these two knobs right over here. It's a very simple plugin, really. You can modulate the pitch, down or up an octave in semitones like that. Or you could change what's called the formant. Now, I won't get into the technical details of what that's doing, folks, but basically, you can change your gender without changing the pitch of your song. Now, I'm sure you've heard this on a lot of those big, uh, fancy dancy pop songs where they make a boy sound like a girl and a girl sound like a boy or like a girl sound like a chipmunk or a demon. Now, the best way to explain formant is simply by showing it to you, which is probably the best way to learn anything, isn't it? So let's put a little, little altar boy, oh, isn't that funny, on Carl's voice. Oh, look at that. We made Carl into a Carla. Oh, isn't that just hysterical? And of course, in the opposite direction, we make him sound like a demon. Now, what's great about that, folks, is you can change the gender or species of your lead singer if you don't like it without changing the key of the song at all. Oh! Now, I thought that made the melody a little bit catchier, but that's just my personal taste. Now, of course, if you'd like the formant and the pitch to move together, you can simply link them by clicking this link button there. That sounds like this. Now, of course, one of the most useful parts of Little Alter Boy is that you can change the key of your song and still preserve the tone or timbre of your lead singer. Let me show you how to do that. So I'll just go ahead and change the key of the entire song here. And let's bring it up two semitones. Now, normally when you pitch vocals up, you change the format as well, like this. What Little Alter Boy lets you do is decouple the formant from the pitch by unlinking this here. So now our pitch goes up, but our formant stays where it is. You hear that difference? Pretty remarkable, isn't it? All right, now let's talk about this mode section here. Transpose mode is the default mode where we've been working. Now, if you go to quantize mode, it's basically like a very harsh auto-tune. Locks in the vocal to the near semitone so that you sound like T-Pain. And now if we click down to robot mode, that basically locks in your track to one uniform pitch, which you can adjust with the pitch knob. Now, if you've made it this far into the video, congratulations to you. You're a great little learner. And I'm glad you stayed because I'm about to show you a little known trick with Little Alter Boy. As it turns out, when you're in robot mode, you can actually map Little Alter Boy onto a MIDI keyboard and use it a little bit like a vocoder. All you have to do is make a new instrument. Then in the drop down menu of your instrument, you go down to MIDI controlled effects and find sound toys. 
little altar boy mono. Now when you do it that way you'll notice a little side chain feature here that wasn't there before. You click here and you feed it your vocal or whatever track you'd like. And of course don't forget to mute your source vocal so that you don't get a double signal. And then the fun begins folks and it sounds like this. You know this toy is just so much fun and that's what makes it one of my top five plugins to put on everything. So let's put little Ultra Boy on our mix bus and see what that sounds like. Okay. Now I think that the song is a little bit low so why don't we pitch it up just a little bit. Did you notice what happened when we changed the key? Let's bypass little altar boy. Let's make it a little bit lower. And that's all there is to it, folks. Little Alter Boy is very simple and easy to use, and you can buy it directly from the Sound Toys website. Now, of course, Sound Toys doesn't pay me to try to sell you these things or anything like that. The truth is, I just do like it that much, and I, uh, I do, in fact, use it on every single track on every single session. And hey, if you enjoyed this tutorial, give me a like and a subscribe and all those things, and go peruse some of the other videos I've got on the internet. Now go on and make some beautiful music of your own with this wonderful little toy, Little Alter Boy. Thank you for watching.